So thank you very much for joining uh, the webinar today. Um, the, today, uh, we are going to talk about the, uh, the presentation title, Maximizing Crop Yield Using Drones and Leaf Analytics. So uh, today, we are, not, we are talking about not only the drone imagery, uh, but also the ground truthing tool to deep dive the leaf level analytics together. So today, uh, two speakers uh, talking about uh, this topic. Uh, my name is Yu Kitamura, uh, in charge of the agriculture solution in Sony. Uh, nice to meet you. And the, uh, we welcome our guest speaker today, Mr. John Maskell uh, from the Leaf Tech Ag Technology. And a uh, couple of other housekeeping things before getting into the presentation. Uh, now, this webinar is recorded. Uh, so uh, once the archive is ready and published, then the, you will uh, have the notification of the link uh, to the archive. The second uh, point is the question and answer. So uh, we take uh, your questions in the uh, control panel of the GoToWebinars. On your right-hand side of your screen, there is a place where you can text the questions uh, to us. So uh, we, we take your questions by text, and at the end of the presentation, uh, we are going to have this question and answer session. Then the uh, either of us uh, will answer your question. Okay, uh, so let's start. And the, before uh, moving into this Sony presentation, see, I'd like to have uh, questions uh, to you uh, there. First poll. Now, I'd like to ask you, the, uh, do you use drones for your operation or not? Uh, would you please give us feedback? Just click it of the choice. OK, uh, thank you very much for your polls. And the, let's share. So, um, the 62% of uh, the um, attendance of you uh, are using the drones already. So I think it's a relatively uh, higher ratio uh, than the normal, uh, the audience we have um, usually. Um, so the, that's, that's great. Uh, so the, we'd like to uh, hopefully the, give you some additional information you could maybe utilize uh, this additional uh, analytics for your drone operations. And for the people uh, who haven't uh, used the drones, the, uh, we, um, we introduced a brief overview today, uh, but also uh, we are having some the further uh, detail overview uh, introductionary webinar archives. So the, uh, I will introduce this archive together at the end of the seminar uh, too. Okay. So let's move on. So introduction of the Sony Smart Agriculture Solution. So um, the Sony Smart Agriculture Solution is all about drone-based remote sensing solution. And the, um, we had some interview before we uh, get into this market the, uh, the, with the growers and agronomists in the field who already use some drones and who are thinking of using the drones. And identified is the key pain point is the workflow challenge of the drone remote sensing, uh, which is turnaround time of the data uh, for the decision making is quite long and it's, it's limiting this effective and timely uh, actions. Uh, the, this is a typical workflow of the drone remote sensing. So you fly the drones, making the map, and identify the travel uh, problem area. And then the, based on that, you go out to the field, uh, ground truthing, and the detail analysis, identify the cause, and the make an action plan based on this, the, uh, the cause, and execute. Um, the, quite a lot of the time is required after the flight to have the uh, data ready for your decision making or this uh, efficient ground truthing activities. Uh, so we focus on to make this the uh, turnaround time of the data availability for the decision making uh, 
in the field within minutes range. That's the uh, what we are uh, trying to uh, solve um, as one of the challenge of this field. And also uh, we are trying to provide the um, second, the, uh, the solution for the second challenge, which is lack of intuitive diagnostic tools. Uh, we like to uh, provide additional analytics capability uh, to support uh, your field analytics. And the, uh, with these two bottlenecks, the, uh, it tends to be uh, taking more time to take an action. So this, this, is, this was a challenge. What we are trying to do is, uh, as I mentioned a little bit, the, we are trying to provide a solution for these three challenges. Uh, our solution concept is, is decision making in the field, leverage quick action. The three key features in this solution. The first one is the fast teaching in field offline operation. After the drone flight, you can generate the NDVI and RGB map in the field within minutes. And then you don't need to rely on any network. Um, in the field, there is a sometimes the uh, quite limited network availability. So our solution works completely under offline uh, environment. Second point is the dedicated field analytics tool. Uh, so this software uh, we provide, uh, not only generating this the NDVI and RGB map, but also uh, providing additional analytics capability. I will show you some analytics capability in the demonstration. Uh, but one of the things we, uh, we are now having this year is a sound count. Uh, this is something uh, truly scalable uh, for your uh, field uh, operation. Easy operation. Uh, now, uh, this system, uh, not only just generating this map, uh, but also this you can analyze the data and you can actually make some prescription uh, the, based on this analytics. So uh, it's end-to-end -end solution and easy to operate. The solution consists of two components. The first one is the multispectral camera, uh, which needs to be mounted on the drone. And the second one is the software, uh, which is called fast field analyzer, uh, which can stitch the image together and the provide this field analytics capability. Now, the, you can utilize this drone uh, remote sensing solution across the season, uh, depending on the timing of the, uh, the year. Early season, uh, you can use this solution for the sound count, and the uh, mid-season, which is we are going into now, this the, uh, you may use this fertilizer application uh, prescription generation. And later stage, you can uh, utilize this like EO estimation. And the, uh, throughout the season, uh, you can uh, make this solution uh, the crop, for crop scouting and the uh, crop protection application based on the scouting results. Now talking about this sound count a little bit, the, uh, so basically uh, compared to this manual operation uh, traditionally being done, uh, we are uh, proposing this the drone-based sound counting uh, solution. So with this uh, drone-based uh, sound count uh, solution, instead of the five to 10 sampling points, uh, which might be biased, uh, that there is a risk of the bias uh, choice. Uh, the, you can actually, with the drone, hundreds of sampling points you can uh, analyze. So it's completely unbiased, mechanical choice of this sampling point. And you can truly understand the extensiveness of the field variability. Uh, as a result, you can uh, make a fair judgment of the field uh, by section. The solution concept is the completely the same as the total solution. It works completely offline and the, it can cover the wide coverage. 
uh, with quantum four, it's possible to uh, the, uh, make this distance counting over 100 acres per flight. And the anal analyze in the field in minutes, after two, three minutes of this the processing, you will have the result of the, all the counting of the field. The workflow is quite simple. So you import and in the uh, software automatically count. And afterwards, you can define the section of the, uh, the field uh, based on the emergence rate or the population uh, in the field. And the, uh, you can make a replant judgment, not the whole field replant, based on this the, uh, zoning concept. Uh, you can decide if you replant some uh, very poor section of the field while having this the, the rest of the field going. So that's the uh, concept of this stand count. And the, we are having some feedback uh, the, from this the user uh, who used this uh, stand count solution. So this is one of the crop consulting company. Uh, and they say the uh, with two systems, they analyzed the 3,750 acres in a day and a half. Uh, actually, it was on the Twitter, so we contact them, and we have some quick um, the feedback call. And they say this um, they are now doing like 3,000 acres per day for the sand counting analytics. So uh, it's very fast and wide coverage. So throughput is very high. And also, the, uh, the analytics is comprehensive, not only just giving you uh, counting, uh, but also uh, you can uh, have uh, this the uh, sectional or zoning capability. Uh, and also this solution is compatible with variable rate seeding, uh, not, not only uh, this the uh, flat rate uh, seeding. So that's the sound count. Now, throughout the mid season, uh, we are going to release the next version of the software, uh, version 2.1 at the end of this month. Uh, I'd like to introduce the what's coming uh, for this uh, version 2.1. So this is the, again, back to this workflow um, of this drone remote sensing. Uh, now, the traditional solution, uh, you can uh, create a map and then you can, uh, our software can support the ground truth thing. And the uh, afterwards, but you, we need to export the data and then back to the FMS and making some prescriptions uh, as an action plan. Uh, now we have some feedback from growers and agronomists, um, particularly when you drive to your, if you are agronomist and when you drive to this um, customer growers areas, one, one hour, two hours, uh, and then fly the drones and check in the field, uh, you like to discuss with growers what to, what to do uh, after the scouting. And the, uh, we are asked to provide some of the uh, quick prescription, uh, the generation capability in the field without uh, uploading all these data and things uh, offline basis. So uh, we provide this prescription uh, feature uh, by this, the new coming version 2.1. So you can check the data after the flight side by side comparison on NDVI map or some external data like soil map or, or it could be like a population map of the sand. And you can generate the grid zone map based on this latest flight uh, NDVI result. And you can configure the application rate based on the zone you define. And you can export the shape file and prescription. Uh, you can also the, uh, report uh, this prescription, generate the report. So that's the, uh, the key feature we are going to have uh, this month. And the, I'd like to show you a quick demonstration how it's like. So now uh, we have the uh, fast field analyzer on the screen. And when you start the program, this uh, pro uh, the display uh, coming up. And I have already have some predefined farm here. And I choose one of them. 
And here, this is the field list. If you have multiple fields, there is a multiple field there. Now, uh, I select one of the field and this field has three flights. So this is sound count flight, this mid season flight, and this is um, after that, this uh, mid two weeks later. Um, here, uh, what I'd like to show you here today is how to make some prescription based on this, uh, this flight uh, having the middle. So you select this uh, flight, then you have the NDVI image here. Um, you could have the NDVI and RGB side by side uh, together. And you can change this the how you like to present the NDVI, this color map uh, as you like. Uh, you can make it more high contrasted like this, or if you like to more graduation, then you can you can do it in this way. Um, so this depends on if you're an agronomist or crop consulting, uh, how you like to uh, explain the field result, a field scouting result to your uh, growers or customers. Now, if you define how you uh, look at look at this field, then uh, we can start to make the prescription. The first step is you generate the grid. So I can now generate the grid based on the NDVI. And what you can do is you can actually change what class you like to have. If you like to have the 15 class, then you can change this uh, class category number here. Or if you like to change it to three, you can do it in this way. Let's set it five. And also you can define minimum and maximum uh, here. Now you have the grid map of NDVI. And then here you can find prescription list and then the create prescription um, button. Then you have this, the, uh, the NDVI grid map you define. And based on the application controller capability, you can adjust this, the, the colors, um, the zone, making the zone in the way you like to have. I won't spend too much time on this, but you can change the color in quite easy way like this. And here uh, you can, of nitrogen. So you can predefine all these parameters and now you can assign okay, no application on the red, five gallons, 10, 15, or 20 or something like this. You can uh, put this all this application rate based on the zone and you select OK. Then you have now the prescription zoning file available. If you'd like to compare uh, with possibly like soil map, you can import the soil map uh, the, uh, to this software and you can show this soil map. Great. can select these things uh, here. 
why if you like to compare like the other external source, then you can import this here, then you can show this, and then you can adjust after you observe side by side. Okay, let's give it some more nitrogen on this north part. It's up to you how you utilize the reference data and uh, modify. And once you're happy, then uh, you can export this to the shape file for your application controller. So that's how you can create this uh, prescription file at the edge of the field right after this NDVI map generation. So that's the uh, new feature coming in. And also I'd like to show you just quick uh, one more information here today is the, you have this um, NDVI map ready, then uh, how you can utilize these information for the efficient grant truthing. Now, based on this map, you are interested in some points, so you can pin grant truth one, two, three, or you can actually select the multi polygon shape. And the uh, you can actually export these information to the some external applications. If you export the KML that you import back to the Google map, then Google map guides you to this location based on this uh, geolocation information uh, from this system. So that help you get to the specific location uh, of the ground truthing. Uh, and then after you uh, finish the ground truthing, you can actually type in some additional findings here. Or you can also comment to the area too. Now this point has the information of the NDVI value also this area, you can quickly evaluate how many acres are damaged and what's the NDVI value of this. And the good thing is if you have uh, the next flight, then you can carry this location as pinned location to the next flight. So here, the value of the NDVI on this point is 0.523, but if you have a next flight, then it's 0.814. Actually, the, after this uh, previous flight, the um, people apply this nitrogen. So the, uh, it's getting more uh, uniform, and then this uh, figure is getting better. Um, so those things you can confirm quickly uh, using this tool. So that's how this solution can support some scouting uh, operation, uh, which is actually um, the John is going to talk about how you can analyze the leaf level detail analytics uh, utilizing this uh, uh, the brief information of the drone scouting. So that's my demonstrations, and then the uh, now I like to hand it over to John. Thanks again for having me on, and I appreciate everybody attending today, and uh, appreciate the opportunity to to talk to you about uh, Leaspec Ag Technologies, which is a uh, plant nutrient and chemical analysis uh, in-field lab uh, digital lab. Uh, we are able to deliver uh, the data, uh, quantified data, to 98% faster and 90% less cost as we go through. And there we go. And basically what we were talking about is managing uh, a crop according to what we call leaf intelligence. The plant tells us a lot of what's going on in the field. 
And we want to be able to collect as much information as we can. So leaf intelligence is the ability to acquire and then apply the knowledge that we gain from monitoring and measuring those plants in a timely fashion so that we can create uh, a higher potential and, and yield or realize our yield potentials. Part of the problems that we have is that in our current crop production practices, we don't necessarily achieve our current crop production potential uh, because we don't have a quantified method to be able to deliver the right type of nutrient at the right amount in the right time and, and at the right places. Uh, the other component that limits our ability to achieve yield potential of a crop is that we have delayed action. Uh, in sampling, to get quantitative data analysis done, it takes three to five days currently to collect that data, to collect it, process it, and then use it to make some actions and recommendations from it. And then cur currently, we have the ability of data density. And right now, we take comp uh, composite samples of a large area, and we don't have a lot of site-specific data because of the cost involved in collecting several data points. And then with some new crops coming into play, like hemp, we have a very hard, large potential of crop loss when we exceed regulatory limits of hemp that we exceed three, uh, less than or more than 0.3% of the hemp uh, THC levels. And by over applying nutrients when not required, we also have environmental effects uh, detrimental that are affect to the crop. Currently, in order to get a quantifiable data point, a lab test. One of the main pieces that we have is a lab test where we get a full nutrient profile and it's a composite sample of around 20 acres. It takes three to five days to get the results and normally that cost is around $25 per sample. Uh, another way of gathering some of that data is with a chlorophyll meter and it's a small data point. Again, not a lot of data coming through and it's kind of specific to a, just the nitrogen. And then we have the visual observations with the human eye. And generally that's a little bit too little, too late to actually do anything about it. Uh, just to go through the current industry standards right now, uh, we collect, uh, we go out into the field and we'll collect five, uh, 15 to 20 leaves over a 20 acre area. Uh, then we'll go back to the office, package them up, ship them to the laboratory. The lab will have them. Uh, in 24 to 48 hours, run the analysis, and then the consultant will get the recommend, or not the recommendations, but the results. The, and then the consultant will cons talk with the growers, decide what we need to do. And then finally, after three to five days, we'll get information that will allow us to apply that, that knowledge that we've gained. And during that time frame, environmental conditions have changed, the crop nutrient requirements have changed, and so we're always behind the ball of trying to improve and maximize our yield potentials within those crops. What we are doing to bring to market is a product called Leaf Spec that was developed out of Purdue. And we are bringing a hand, basically a digital lab in your hands. So what it does is you can go out into a field and scan a leaf non-destructively and you will collect 13 and a half million pixels worth of data from that leaf that determines the whole range of nutrients, micro, macro, and then also chemical composition. And what makes this very important and our partnership with Sony is that we use the Sony platform as uh, you demonstrated previously, that we will go out into the field and we'll do a drone flight that will give us an NDVI and identify the areas of the field that are atypical or that are showing stresses so that we get a good picture of where we want to, to sample. We then go through our normal sampling processes of scouting the field, looking for other disease, pests, and then we are able to scan that leaf with the device that I showed you in the previous picture to non-destructively scan it, geo-reference that location, and gain 13 million and a half million pixels of data points. Then with those results, we're able to zone and delineate the variability across the field and then quantify what those nutrient values are. And with the, the tool that, that you described and demonstrated, we can set the, the grower or the uh, crop consultant can set the recommended levels of nutrients that need to be applied and then provide that to the grower for their variable rate application equipment, whether it be on a piece of tractor or equipment or zone management with an irrigation system. And in comparison, we can complete these 
uh, practices in less than one to two hours. So we were able to meet the, the plant needs and requirements within minutes to hours after taking the sample to uh, speed of action to the grower so we can respond and react very quickly and help those plants maximize their performance. What we're able to do is we're bringing a very simple a hand scan uh, technology allows us to scan that leaf. It's 98% faster than our traditional sending it off to the lab. And we're able to save our cost by over 90%. And then we have hundreds of more data points per field to help us zero in and delineate our variability across the field so that we can then apply the appropriate amounts of nutrients and or pesticides to that crop or change our management to reduce stress. Uh, part of the benefit is that because we are on the field edge with both the drone management, the drone tools that are provided by Sony and our basically our digital lab, we are improve the consultants and the crop scouts ability to effectively use their time, their turnaround time in data acquisition and delivery to the grower. And where we have implemented this on managing the nutrient delivery, we've been able to see as high as a 50 to 100 percent increase in the yield and reducing our input cost by 30 to 60%. And what you can see is that some of the other handheld tools only give us one uh, characteristic of the plant. We are pulling and putting forth full nutrient profile, micro, macro, disease, pest, and chemical composition some, uh, like cannabinoid content and hemp so that we can define these in real time and make a good, educated, and quantifiable decision to improve the crop conditions. Leaf intelligence in, is basically a digital transformation of a field lab testing, and it's kind of the transformation from a 35 millimeter to a digital camera to where we can go out into a field and collect the data and as many data points as we want to select for delineation and management tools that we'll be able to work with. And with the Sony platform, it gives us a field edge um, analytics to target our sampling and then deliver a solution to the grower of a uh, variable rate application map all on the same platform and in working with in a very timely method and, and way with it. Uh, that's a very short and concise tool that, we, that we're bringing to market and we are going through our validation processes as we go through and smoothing these things out. And I greatly appreciate Sony's um, giving me the time to introduce us to the people that are here. And if you have any questions, you can email me or call me. Uh, and that's my conclusions that we are changing the way in which we can be responsive to the field between a Sony platform and the addition of the data of a digital laboratory for crop management for a more quantitative decisions. Thank you, you. Thank you very much, Sean. So uh, just a little bit of the follow-up information. Uh, the, we already have the question in the pricing uh, questions in the question uh, the uh, section. So the, uh, let me just share this uh, pricing. So the our solution, uh, the uh, the camera is $3,500 and the software depends on the plants in 99 a year or 1999 a year. Uh, and the this is just cameras and software, uh, but you need to have the drones uh, to utilize the solution. This is the example of the total package solution uh, from one of our uh, the dealer, uh, Drones Made Easy. And the, this uh, package includes the uh, DJI drone, depending on the type of the drones, uh, the di different type of the package available, and the Sony multi-spectral cameras mounting bracket, and additional batteries for uh, the day operation, and the SD card, and the uh, all uh, the components can be stored in nice warm uh, special hard case. Uh, so this the package price is uh, the Phantom 4 package is uh, 6,399, Inspire 2, uh, 9777, and Matrix 200 version 2 is a 15,404. Uh, so that's the hardware package. And then the, depending on your choice of the software, so you just add this the uh, software licensing as a total 
package uh, cost. And the quick uh, the uh, comparison of the what standard the business difference is uh, so standard uh, up to 1,000 acres and the business up to 15,000 acres. And the stand count or prescription capability is available for the business version. And where to buy the system? The, uh, if you go to the website, you can find the, some, uh, the products uh, at the bottom and then you click this and then you can click the purchase and then uh, you will have the list of these uh, de our dealer system integrators uh, close to your region. And for the software, uh, this is uh, this can be purchased at the Sony licensed web store. Uh, so you click this uh, button, then you will be routed to this the web store. Now, uh, the for the training uh, or the support uh, things, uh, we receive a lot of the feedback of the uh, how to make trainings, how to uh, learn the solutions, uh, those kind of things. And the, uh, so we provide the, particularly this year, it's not really easy to provide this the physical uh, trainings um, uh, delivery. Uh, so we prepare this, the, uh, what we call Sony Smart Agriculture Academy. And from, this place, we are providing the online operational tutorial videos. Uh, so from the flight to the data processing. And you can actually this, the download the tutorial videos uh, to your uh, laptop uh, for offline use. Uh, we, we know this, uh, when you need this, the tutorial video, uh, you are in the field and then the, you are offline. So you can download all these video tutorials. So uh, that's available uh, from our website. Uh, please uh, visit uh, to our website for further information to enroll the program if you're interested in. Also, we have some webinar archive available. Um, the, depending on the topic, we invite uh, uh, the different guest speakers. Uh, some include the, uh, from drone service provider, uh, company. Uh, the, this one is how they get into this ag business using the Sony Agriculture Solution from drone service provider point of view. Uh, so this one, we invite uh, Syngenta uh, the, as a guest speaker. And this talk about this the sound count uh, and also Syngenta leaf plant calculator uh, to support the decision making or the replant. And for the uh, nitrogen uh, application, maybe this uh, webinar might be interesting for you. Um, so we invite uh, the Peterson Farm Seed uh, who use uh, this solution for nitrogen production of things. So those are available online. Uh, if you're interested in, please visit and check it. And the, uh, if you're interested in evaluating the software, um, then uh, we are offering 15 day trial uh, free of charge license. Uh, if you come to our website and then the, uh, go to the section of this, the uh, trial license, then uh, you can generate the trial license for your uh, evaluation purpose. Uh, if you don't have the, the cameras, uh, don't worry. Uh, there is a sample data set available, so you can download the sample data set, and using that, you can check how this software works. So that's uh, it for uh, today's content. And now we like to move to question and answer session. Okay. So uh, let me check the question. Okay. Uh, here is the question. 
when creating a prescription with grid map, can you use setting a line with the width of your spray boom or aerial spray uh, with to allow for variable applications? How can this be easily for an applicator? Uh, yes, thank you very much for the questions. Um, maybe I can show you uh, in my other laptop the Chris. Okay. So um, as we went through, uh, we have this grid map. And then when I generate this grid map, the, I define, the def or I use the default, uh, the grid size, uh, which is 60 feet. Now, if your applicator, uh, depending on the app application controller, this resolution, you can change this. Uh, if it's, for example, 200 feet, then you can change the grid size to the 200 feet. Or if you like to make it very fine, like 30 feet, then you will have more fine um, the, um, the grid map. Let me just take the grid off. So that's what you can control, uh, the size of the grid, how you can control. And then you, as I mentioned, you can also control uh, the class too. So this is more like a very, 30 feet resolutions and a 15 class thing, or you can go down to uh, 150 feet and three class uh, based on your spray boom capability things. So that's how you can change it. And then based on this, you can create, sorry, the prescription and adjust these grid from this uh, your preferred grid size and the class number. Hopefully this does answer to your question. And uh, the next uh, question: uh, Will this information PowerPoint be available to us for review later? I was not able to attend the entire presentation. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. The uh, you share your contact information so that we can uh, uh, the uh, the share this presentation with you. And the uh, also this all this recording archive is going to be uh, published online uh, once it's ready. Now, uh, next question. Are you able to add in soil test scan information in addition to leaf testing? Um, it's the question to uh, John. Or the um, soil test, I think that's maybe the two, two elements. The, uh, the two Sony software uh the soil test results so you have the grid soil sampling information things then uh you can import uh this the uh, information uh to uh the sony software uh for example uh here you can if you have a soil data already uh you can uh let's see uh soil so this is soil uh sampling data, then you can import the shape file and you can uh, see this shape file, uh, like this one, this one, in this software that you can do. If it's like a shape file, we can import to this software. Um, hope this answers the question. And then maybe the, um, John, is there any comment from your side? The yes, the 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 way we're we we have the point data. This is going to be very similar to a soil test because we'll have the same nutrients and the geolocation on on those. 
And so as we convert from the point data to a shape file or delineated shape file, it, it should import in there very quickly. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next question is, if I fly 300 hectares three times, uh, is that 100 hectares of my license or 300 hectares? So the license consumption of this case is going to be 100 hectares if it's the same field. So uh, the uh, the field <coughs> license field uh, acre hectare is um, based on the defined field size. So as long as you have so for example, this is 123 acres field. Uh, so you fly maybe five times in the season, then it's still 120, uh, the three acres uh, consumption of the license. Okay, so next question uh, is soil scan machine for N info. Uh, I uh, just comment. Um, yeah, so the soil scan machine, uh, the if they can export this the uh, grid or what, what, whatever the, the um, shape file uh, map geo coordinated, we can import it back to this uh, fast fee analyzer. Okay. Uh, next question is assume metric measurement two. Um, measurement. Uh, yes, uh, the, you, you have this the um, metric measurement. Uh, you can change uh, here to the metric, and you will have the hectare. Um, Okay, and next questions, the, uh, what drone can it be mounted on? Um, yes, so uh, basically there are a couple of the drones available. The, um, the entry level is a Phantom 4 uh, package is uh, quite uh, popular uh, drones. And if you are a little bit more uh, this professional enterprise level, then the uh, you might choose like Inspire 2 or the Matrix uh, 200 series uh, from DJI. And the, there are <coughs> other drones uh, which is planning to uh, be compatible, which is the uh, VTOL vertical takeoff and landing. So uh, you fly. Well, the you take off and landing uh, the vertically uh, multi rotor drone, like multi rotor drone. But the, uh, after you get into the air, then the, it flies like a fixed wing. And this uh, one of these the uh, U.S. drone manufacturer called uh, Bar's Eye View. Uh, they are going to be compatible with our solution, and the uh, flight time of their uh, drone is a 55 minutes. So it's a Quite wide, yeah. You can you can do with those kind kind of a drone. Okay. And the <clears throat> what nutrient content can you measure using this leaf technology? So question for John. Uh, we are measuring uh, macro and micro nutrients. Uh, we are uh, validating in more detail some of the on different crops, specifically on corn and hemp. Uh, so we we have um, nitrogen and we're running right now at about a 0.935 accuracy on total nitrogen content rather than a, a reflectance value of the chlorophyll content. So uh, yes, the micro and macro nutrients all the way across the board as well as chemical composition and, and moisture. Thank you. Uh, 
And how long does it take to measure uh, this the nutrient content per leaf? The leaf, uh, it takes three to five seconds to scan the leaf across, to pull the scanner across the leaf. And so it's, it's a very simple and fast uh, measurement of the, the transmittance of that leaf. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think um, we cover most of the question now. Um, any other question? There you go here. Um, can I use this prescription for the crop protection? Yes, um, you can. You can use it this uh, for different purpose. Um, just switch back to acre. So, if I create a prescription here based on this, now. Uh, you can actually specify the prescription name, product type you're going to use. And this is the type, so it could be like a seed, uh, the rate, or crop protections, or fertilizer. You select crop protections, and then the, you can specify liquids or this, uh, the other uh, type of this um, crop protection, and the you define the application rate for each zone. So it can be used for different purpose uh, from the seed, crop protection, fertilizer. Okay. Can I have a report of the prescription? Yes, um, yeah, the, I didn't show you. Uh, let me just go back to the prescription now. So here you have a prescription file ready. Let me just... So these are the prescription, um, the file, and you can export as shapefile, as well as you can generate the report of the prescription. And what you can do is you can add some reference data uh, too. So if you like to add the soil type information, you can include it in the, uh, the report. Uh, you can add multiple reference data for the reasoning of your uh, prescription. And the, um, you can uh, name the prescriptions and then you will have all this, the uh, zoning information, how many acres per zones and what rate you define and the, uh, here you can have NDVI grid map information and based on the NDVI grid map, you have prescription file here. And additionally, you could add this reference information like soil map or elevation map, um, some other shape file information uh, here. And obviously the, uh, this, the leaf spec information uh, converted to the shape first and back to this day thing. So that, that would be also good information for uh, the uh, application planning uh, differently. And you can uh, you can put your uh, company logo um, in here uh, for the report. So that's how you can generate the report. And the apart from the prescription prescription, uh, you can also uh, export or they generate the report for the scouting report. So in this case, you have the RGB image and DVI 
image and point of interest information or region of interest information you define and our location, the RGB and NDVI image for the visual confirmation. So those are quickly generated at the uh, edge of the field after the flight operation. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, so I think we cover all the questions now. Yep, I think we covered all the questions. So now, uh, the, if you like to uh, the find out further information, uh, please uh, go to this the uh, website. Also, the, we highly recommend to uh, the visit this Sony Smart Agriculture Academy. Uh, this uh, gives you, uh, oops, sorry, I think my screen is still on the, let me switch my screen now. Here, uh, so Sony Smart Agriculture Academy uh, is, uh, we, I would recommend you. And if you uh, need some further information, please visit our website or the contact me uh, for further information. Now, uh, the, at the end of the webinar, uh, we have the uh, quick survey, post survey. Uh, you just need to click this couple of the, uh, the time. So the, uh, please uh, give us some feedback and the, we'd like to improve the uh, future webinars. So with that, the uh, time is up now. So the, um, I'd like to close today's session. Uh, hope you enjoyed that and the, thank you very much John and the, thank you very much uh, everyone to join the webinar. Thank you. Thanks again and hope somebody learned something. Have a good day. Have a good day.